Hi guys. Okay, so um, as you can probably tell, I'm not in the classroom anymore and I don't have um, a projector, so I can't really walk you through um, our papers the same way that we were doing before. But what I will do is um, I will try to just kind of hold it up and give you whatever I think that you need to do to be able to get the papers done. Um, and then I'm going to send mom and dad just some some links to some fun things that you can do at home to help with your learning, okay? And we'll just uh, work with what we have. Okay, so you do have a writing assignment for this week, or for today, I'm sorry, and it should look like this. Um, so basically, I will, I will write the sample down here for you just to show you, but make sure that you're keeping your letters wherever they fall in the lines on the example above is where you wanna put it below. You wanna make sure that you're writing your letters as much like the example as you possibly can. They're straight up and down. They're in between the lines where they're supposed to be. We've got spaces between each one of our words. This is a sentence, so we always make sure that the first letter starts with a capital letter in a sentence, and then we have punctuation at the end. And so here we have a period. So when you're writing, remember that you are just writing straight up and down using your very best handwriting Remember that if you forget how to form a letter, that we have um, in the B book, we've got the little uh, letter chart and it will show you how to do your letters. Um, it's kind of hard with this big fat marker on this little paper, but you just wanna make sure that your letters are straight up and down. You're leaving the spaces in between. You're putting your punctuation at the end and you're using your very best handwriting. And I give you points for taking your time and trying your best, which I can tell by your handwriting um, if you have taken your time, okay? And don't forget to do the back as well. Okay, guys? All right, let's take a look at your math paper for today. Um, let me put something behind it. Okay, it should look like this. Most of this you should be able to do. You remember at the top here, I see this little symbol right here that looks like a cross. That's gonna tell me to add. So these are addition problems. Remember adding means I have a certain amount and then I get more of something. I'm gonna count them all together. And then I'm, the answer is how many do I have all together? So remember by now we really should have um, these memorized. So please continue to do that if you still don't have them memorized. But if you don't have them memorized and you need to use your fingers or your dots or cars or Cheerios um, or whatever you have at the house, paper clips, to be able to count these out, you may do that. Um, we just wanna make sure that we're getting those memorized so that you'll be faster at it, especially with uh, starting um, subtraction. We want you to be able to be fast um, because now we're starting to learn some new things and um, we want you to it not to take you so long or be so hard for you, okay? If you look down here where the mouse is, you're just reading time. Remember, the shorthand tells you the hour. You'll always write that first. And then next, you write the minutes. When we're, we count by fives around the clock, so remember to be five, 10, 15. Remember, if the hour hand is between two numbers, if it has not gotten to the number just yet, then it has to be, like this has to be 11 because it hasn't gotten up to the 12 yet. It's between the 11 and the 12, but it hasn't made it to the 12 yet. So your hour would be 11. Then you're gonna write your minutes. We'll start with one and we'll go five, 10, 15. So my time would be 11, 15. Okay, over here with the popsicles, it says draw the dimes you would need to buy the popsicles. So you can just draw circles but you need to see how much your popsicle cost. I see it costs 30 cents. And I need to figure out how many dimes do I need to make 30 cents, okay? So I need to figure out how much is one dime worth? What do I count by? And then how many dimes do I need so that I get 30 cents? When you figure that out, you're gonna draw however many dimes you need right there. Okay, this is a little bit different for us at the bottom. It says write from one to 30 and complete the calendar. Your teacher will tell you where to begin. So we're gonna make this easy. We're gonna start on Sunday. And basically, I just wanna see if you can write your numbers to 30. 
So you might need a little help from mom and dad just figuring out the direction. But basically you're going to go across this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll keep going nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Skip to the next line, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And you'll keep going all the way until you get to 30. So when I'm looking at this, I'm checking two things. Can you count to 30 without missing any of the, of the numbers? And do you know how to write the numbers to 30? So remember, um, we want you to learn how to do that without looking, but if you still need help, then you can use your numbers chart, okay? So pull that out and let that help you. Okay, on the back, let's see, it says, Freddy Frog wants to hop to the log. Color the lily pads as you count by fives from five to 50, and then color the frog and the turtle. So you're gonna count by fives and you're gonna color the lily pad five, 10, 15. Now, if I went this way, 5, 10, 20. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong because I missed 15. So I can't go this way. So I need to figure out which way can I go? What is the trail? It's kind of like a maze. What is the trail that I need to color to get from the frog all the way to the turtle, counting by fives? So as you count by fives, you'll color the lily pad. You'll only color the lily pad of the trail that you're taking. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay? All right, guys. Well, I love you and I miss you. And um, I will try to send some fun links of um, email some things that you can be doing at home too if you just need some new ideas about things that you can do to help learn um but i love you all and i look forward to talking to you soon bye guys